Hi there, today we're at Manningford Trout Fishery. It's a lovely fishery. As you can see, it's winter, it's pretty cold. So I thought I'd take you over how we catch some nice winter rainbows. I've got three setups with me today, just to show you three different types of fishing. So, first one, bring it up. Here is a booby setup. So I've got a light rod, because I don't really need to get out very far. Normally I'd have a sinking line on, but as you can see, this is a fast intermediate. The reason I'm using a fast intermediate today is the lake is very shallow, so I don't need that die five, die three that I would normally use. I've got a short six foot leader, culminating in a little orange booby. So we'll try that one. So, this is a more common setup. Normal floating line. Leader about nine foot in length, 10 foot in length. And then a little tungsten headed lure. This is one of my favorites for winter rainbows. Really nice and bright, nice bit of weight to it. So that's another one we'll give a go. And finally, one that's a little more unusual, but can be very effective. Yet again, floating line short leader i've got a bung on there and then about four foot down i've just got a normal orange blob uh, this is to be fish static the water is reasonably clear so they should be able to see that from quite a distance and we'll see what reaction they have so that was a brief description of the tactics i'm going to be using today it's very quiet here which is going to play into our hands we're just going to walk around see if we can pull out one of the big fish Okay, so we're at the first spot. It's a lovely bit. We've got the island just here within easy reach. We've got a patrol route down the edge of the island. We've got a patrol route down here. Nice bit of deeper water here. So what I'm gonna start with is the floating line with the tungsten lure on. I'm just gonna twitch it back, figure of eight, put the odd sort of quicker spurt in and see if I can get a reaction from one of the rainbows that's just patrolling along there. So let's give it a go. Yeah, first car. There you go. Lovely little rainbow. I watched this one follow it in from about 10 foot out. Lovely little fish. Can't go wrong for a first cast like that. Cracking, see if we can get one of the bigger ones out. Are there any casting techniques in particular on this? Um, one thing I would say is just make sure you can cast, oh, just missed one. Cast accurately, even at this time of year. You know, I've got a floating line on as well, so once a fly goes out, I'll let it sink for about 10-15 seconds. It's important to find the right depth. You know, um, it's far more important than the fly, I think. So get your cast out to where you want it. You don't need to go massive distances. I mean, that one I just caught, it was at the end of the cast. So it was what, three foot out from the bank. So you don't really need to go particularly far. As long as you can cast accurately and delicately, so not to spook the fish. And then count your fly down and work the fly on that level, that's far more important than getting huge distances. So, got the fly out along the edge. I'm just going to count down to 10. Make sure you watch the end of the line. Always watch that. Any sort of twitches or, you know, strange movements, 
it could be a fish taking it so make sure you've got your eye on that so I've counted down to about 10 and I'm just gonna give it a nice little figure of eight retrieve and after a while just give it a pause start up again give it a pause there you go and as you can see that fish took on the pause so he's probably following it and as soon as that fly stopped it sunk a little bit and he took it and I saw the end of the line just twitch to the left so I didn't feel it, I saw it there you go another nice little manicured rainbow I know there's bigger I mean I love them in winter it's lovely clear water and you know it really brings out the pinks and you know they really are stunning as you see nice fins as well fight nice and hard but uh hopefully we'll catch one of the really big boys you know the sort of 10 pounders and see how they fight Flies just popped out because so i use barbless but as you can see one of my favorite winter patterns okay so we've seen that that works um <laughs> really good actually had one first cast one third cast and one about fifth cast so fantastic so what we're going to do now is go off to a different bit of the lake and try one of the other tactics, see if we can catch a few doing that. So I've just spotted a couple of fish in the edge here. I'm using the same setup, same fly. I'm just going to try and pop it in front of their faces and see if we can get a reaction strike out of them. So let's see what happens. He was interested, came and had a look, but then refused it. So, time to move on. Okay, so we're now around to a different part of the lake. We've seen a few fish move around here, which is why we've come around. I'm now going to try the bung. So, it's basically a static blob under a bung. I think this is about the right depth for this time of year, although we'll find out. So what I'm going to do is cast out reasonably far, let it sit for about 20 seconds, watching the bung all the time, and then if nothing happens, just give it a few twitches, you know, retrieve it in a bit, let it sit again. Any fish that I see move, any fish that I see subsurface, I'm going to put this straight on their faces and see if we can get a reactive strike as well. So very useful tactic, and I'm sure we'll catch something. Okay, so we're now going to try the third technique, which is the booby on the sinking line. As I said to you before, it's reasonably shallow here, so I've got my fast glass on, six foot leader, little orange booby. I'm going to cast it out, let the line sink close to the bottom, and then just sort of twitch it back and see what response we get. What we're going to do in a bit, I think, is go up to the second lake, which is called Squires. It's a much deeper lake, and then we can put on the full sinking line and have a go up there with this as well but first let's give it a few casts here Great little rainbow, this one on a little orange booby, just retrieved quite quickly and absolutely nailed it. But let's say, I've seen some bigger ones, so let's sort this one out and get another one.
Okay, so we've now come off Manor Lake. We're up onto the second lake in the complex, which is called Squires. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, but it's also a lot deeper. So something I noticed when we were down on Manor is that I got a couple of takes when I was reeling in. So what I've done is I've put my die five on, bar sinking, same booby we were using down there. What I'm gonna do is fish roly-poly style, which is a very quick retrieve, trying to trigger a response. The fish seem fairly active because it's actually reasonably warm today, especially since yesterday was well into the minuses. So we're gonna chuck it out, roly-poly, see if we can get a reactive reaction strike. Let's give it a go. So what I've done is I've let the line sink now and I'm just going to pull the line in like this. So literally rolling the hands over each other, hence the roly-poly. And I can do it as quick or as slow as I want. Again, get the pauses in as you would do normally and just get that fly moving at different speeds. But as you can see, you can do this at quite a speed. So if you're reeling in and you start getting the takes, and this is the retrieve to emulate that. So I'm at the end, another cast, and we'll do it again. I don't know if it's a lump, but it's certainly fighting well. We had this doing the roly poly as we were talking about, and he's really pulling back. So let's hope it's something a bit bigger. It's a bit bigger. Oh, really going. fish. One of the browns that they've got in here, a bit of a mangled fin but fought, there you go, that's a better side, lovely. Fought like sting, so cracking. So some of you may find it strange that we're catching browns in winter but it's fine, uh, they're triploids nowadays and as long as they're on still waters you can catch them in the winter months. As you saw from that one, it fought a bit differently to the other fish we've had today. All the others have been rainbows, they've been quite acrobatic and you know, just a little bit different. The browns tend to sound, they tend to go deep. Luckily with this bit that we're on now, it's about 16 foot deep so they can go straight down. It makes them give a really good account of themselves, it's hard to get them up. So if you want to come and catch a winter brown, then uh, this is the place to do it. Let's get another one. I've got my five weights out today, um, two nine foot five weights and a nine foot six five weight. When you're fishing small still waters, you don't need the really big rods, you don't need the huge distances, you don't lift it, need to lift it over your boat partner's head. So I tend to steer away from the seven weights, go down onto the five weights, a bit more sporting, that's all you really need. And just great fun, lightweight, joy to use. So get your five weights out. saw a few fish moving so as you can see we switched over to the bung I've had two casts and straight away into a fish so I think we found the right tactic again um, this time fishing it static they seem to have gone off the boil on the really quick retrieves 
and this has come into its own. So I think we can get a few more on it. Should we go down the middle another? We've had fish on all three techniques now, the bung, the normal sort of lure and the sinking line with the booby. Uh, we've had fish both on manna and on squires on all the techniques. Now I'm just going to go and see if I can catch something bigger, have a bit of fun and hopefully we'll be able to show you something bigger in a bit.